The Maine legislature has to take on lots of big and complex issues affecting thousands of people. Sometimes their work has a much smaller focus. In the case of one bill, it is aimed precisely at helping one of Maine's smallest towns on Matinicus Island feel a little less isolated. Here's New Center Maine's Don Carrigan. Not everyone can handle living on an island 23 miles out to sea. It is a commitment. And part of it on Matinicus is dealing with the ferry. As we found out a few years back, as good as the Main State Ferry Service is, sometimes nature takes charge. The ferry only goes to Matinicus once a month in the winter, more in the summer. And while island residents know how to plan and cope, Town Clerk Eva Murray says the need for the ferry has been growing. That's what we primarily need the ferry for is, is freight handling, and that's going up. That includes one of Murray's several other jobs, hauling trash and recyclable items off the island. Our camera spotted her with a truck three years ago. Basically, we just need to be able to get trucks that can remove the trash and recycling, bring appliances and lumber, firewood, heating oil, gravel for the roads, without running into a limit of, no, you can't have any more ferries. And that is what happened. The legislature passed a law decades ago allowing no more than 36 ferry trips to Matinicus a year. So now Eva Murray, who is also chair of the Ferry Service Advisory Board, asked Representative Ann Matlack to put in a bill to have the legislature remove the ferry cap. I think that being able to allow the, the number of runs necessary to do the, to the work needed um, for the island should be left to, in the hands of those who understand um, the operation of the ferry. But it's not clear if the ferry service wants more trips. At today's public hearing, the main DOT, which operates the service, said it has lost $3 million in ferry revenues statewide because of COVID and that any added service on the system is not financially practical. Representative Matlack and Eva Murray say there would not necessarily be any added cost or added trips this year. They just want their link to the world to be a little more flexible. All we're doing is removing an arbitrary limit that that nobody can even remember why it would be there. Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine. It will be up to the legislature's transportation committee to decide if it is time for that restriction to be eliminated.